Hey everybody, welcome back. We're gonna get that item. I wonder if anybody between these two episodes has gone in the comment section and just spoiled it. They're like, I need to let everybody know what the item is. For the sake of my collection, I take on people I know I can't beat. That's what a collector does. What if he beats me? Then he has to upgrade to Ace Trainer. I guess so. Are gym leaders ace trainers? I don't know, you tell me. Uh, I didn't catch there. What did, what set went up for me? Uh, I don't know, you tell me. Oh, I'm gonna say it was speed because that's the thing I want the least. Well, we're just gonna slowly go at this. I might need to switch. If, if you're one... talking about the Carbos you picked up earlier, it was speed. Oh, damn. Crit! I'm switching. Fuck this. That ball. Or, or my pride, that works too. Yeah. Hey, did first gen have a single rock, uh, like pure rock type? Um... I don't think it did. No. There were only like a few part rock Pokemon. Yeah. That weren't ground. Like I'm thinking like, like there the was Geo... like actually all the fossils were yeah, rock yeah. but not ground. Were they both rock and water? Yes, and Aerodactyl was rock flying. Uh yeah, yeah. Was that all the rock Pokemon in first gen? There weren't many. I believe so. Huh. Onyx, Geodude's family. It's weird to think how few Pokemon there were back then. Uh, Vaporeon. I think I'm going to do a hard switch on that one to Rosalia. Whoops. <laughs> I forgot that was my default non-actual attack. Well, kind of wish it hit anyway. Sorry, trainer, you're too stupid to live. Now, I'm going to go ahead and make a guess. A wild guess that his next Pokemon... Wow, really? Holy Vaporeon's shit. pretty uh, defensive. That's yeah. impressive. Because Rosalia? Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make a wild guess that Flareon's the last one. Doesn't Flareon... We'll find kinda... out on the next episode. <laughs> yeah. End it after three minutes. Um, doesn't Flareon suck? Yeah. I it wasn't until, that. I believe, 5th or 6th gen where it finally got access to Flare Blitz. So it can make use of its massive attack stat. Because, like, the only move it would be able to make use of in uh, in this game, at least, would be Overheat. Like, that would be the strongest uh, fire move it could learn. But it's a special attack, and Flareon's a special attacker, or a, a physical attacker. Why didn't I switch out? I'm an idiot. I think you just answered your own question. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, fifth gen introduced a move called Flame Charge, which was just a 50 power physical fire move that Flareon can learn, but it still wasn't enough to make it viable. Yeah, I kind of got the vibe even from first gen that Flareon was the weakest pick. God damn it. Don't burn me. Okay, good. Let's try that one again. Come on. Yay! Yeah, that's a one shot. I like to think I just jump out of the ground and jump scare it and it has a heart attack. Yeah. And it's ground type because. Flareon fainted. So. Question mark. Dig. How. Like, when you think of dig as a move, what do you think of? Because I think it's digging underground, goes under its opponent, and then, like, rockets upwards underneath yep. it and, like, tackles it, basically. That's how I think So it. how is that ground type and not normal, like, tackle? Why is it not flying like Peck? Why, <laughs> why is flying a type? <laughs> Again, like, flying makes sense defensively. It doesn't make sense offensively. All right, I already have a Geodude, right? I don't really care about getting Graveler then. 
So the item you're looking for is in that patch behind the fence. Oh, okay. Big Root. Give that to Roselia. Big Root increases the amount of HP you regain from uh, absorption type moves. Ooh, that's good. Oh, Rhyhorn. I like Rhyhorn. Rhyhorn, Rhyhorn actually made has an steel. evolution past uh, Rhydon. Uh, what is... Oh, you know what? I think I've seen it before. Also, uh, this is another uh, rock ground from Gen 1. Yeah, I like Rhyhorn. Doesn't Rhyhorn have the same cry? Or is it Rhyt... Uh, or is it Rhydon that has the same cry as, like, Nidoking or something? In first gen, uh, right on. yeah, because in first gen two, Pokemon had the same cry. Uh, actually, that was true for a couple other examples. Really, uh, I didn't, I didn't remember Parasect that. Parasect and Mewtwo have the same cry. Really, I didn't remember that. And one I learned of myself was uh, was Ammonite and Machop. Weird. I love those old school Pokemon cries. All right. I mean, I might be able to one-shot it, so I'll just go for it. Uh, Maybe. Is Rhyhorn any good? I like Rhyhorn. It's got a lot of um, physical attack. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I don't know if I'll use it, though. I'm, I'm already a bit high on, like, rock, ground-type stuff. Yeah. Need a good poison type. But then you'd really have no uh, way of dealing with psychic type Pokemon. Are there any flying poison Pokemon? You there mean aside be. from Zubat and Golbat? Oh, fuck off. <laughs> yeah, not them. I mean, Crobat's not bad, but it takes yeah. a while to get to that. Yeah, doesn't that level with or evolve with friendship? Yeah. Yay! What's that for? I forget. Move tutors. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. God damn it. You're not gonna get me any experience. I'm not fighting you. I'm almost considering a repel. The counter rate on this route is pretty high. Ugh. Come on, I'm almost through. So th does this lead me straight to another town, or does it lead me to, like, a cave first? It leads you to a resort-type area. And then it leads you to a beach, where there's, like, one patch of grass that you gotta go through. And then it leads you to the next city. So, okay. Valor Lakefront is the resort-type town. Hold on, and what's, then, uh, Like, it's what's... like a rest stop. Let's map the game a little bit. Is this where I started? No, it was that's this. Where this. That's where you started. I went up here, that's and I went to here, and then I went place. east, right? Yeah? Yeah, yes, I went here, went and then back. I... Yeah, yep. that, and then I did that. And, and you went down then Cycling Road. This? Nope. No, I went... Yeah. Yep. Hard home, I was there for multiple Forever. years. Then I went there, there. Okay, okay. I'm just trying to kind of map out to get an idea of where I've been. So the gray ones are places I haven't been. Correct. Okay, so am I going right or left? You're going left. Okay. I gotta remember that I have fly now and I might want to use that at some point. I travel all over the world in search of mysteries. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> row a real dawn. I wonder if the the youth of tomorrow has never heard that song and doesn't know what we were just doing. You're not gonna do shit damage to this. I mean, it was like it was like a sixth of his health. He's almost dead. Uh, we were doing the the old Scooby Doo theme. I'm sure it's been like remixed a thousand times or something. Uh huh. Yeah. I don't know if there's a modern Scooby-Doo cartoon. I figure there probably is. There probably is. There was Mystery Incorporated a little while ago. Where, is that uh, any good? I think it was well received. God damn it! I, I did it again. People really liked uh, Velma specifically because she had a lot of sass, like a little more so than before. Huh. I'm not. I can't speak for how it did as a whole, though. One interesting thing was that Shaggy and Velma were dating at the beginning. 
That's weird. <laughs> That's a level of knowing the characters well enough that I didn't really need out of, uh... Dude, what are you doing? Oh, yeah, I forgot, Rock. <laughs> For some it's reason, it just looks like. Rock. Oh yeah. For some. And Rosalia is not a physical attacker, so that's <laughs> quad resistance I'll with do a fine. move that you're that's not stab. I for some reason I was thinking it was just ground. I don't know why I thought that. That was probably pretty stupid. Yeah, I got punished for that one. Well. Yeah, the game kind of kicked my ass over that one. I, I really got to swap Giga Drain and Stun Spore. I keep accidentally doing Stun Spore when I have no interest in it. I probably should have just switched and used Dig, but for some reason I looked at it and I'm like, oh, it must be ground because it's that like sandy color. Well, don't forget to switch the moves now. Oh, yeah. You're not in battle yet. I hate that you need to switch it, like, through this whole thing. In earlier games, you could just do it in battle with the select button. That was just early games, where yeah. the uh, UI wasn't so complicated. Uh, I mean, I guess I'll fight this guy. In my Pokemon? To find my favorite Pokemon, I'll go east, west, or any which way! No, no. Na 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 Oh no guys, it's Jamal! It's a mirror match! It. Well, I'm just gonna <laughs> use this as an opportunity to heal then switch. Why not? is not in this game. As it's not this Pokemon. Uh, I think I will just crush it to death. I mean, I could use Rock Smash, but I could just use Earthquake and probably get more out of it. Besides the defense down, potentially. Die. I don't think I'll one-shot. I'll probably get into like Die, half health. Monster. You, you don't, don't belong, belong in this world. world. Oh, God well. damn it. Oh, all right, all right. One more, one more. One more once. If it survives, it's one health. Okay, good, we're good. Is that really his only Pokemon? Yep. Huh. Oh yeah, I forgot I have that item. I right, heal through attacking. But they're rare Pokemon. It's one Pokemon. Yay! What's Razor Fang? Uh, when equipped to a Pokemon, it can make the opposing Pokemon flinch during an attack. That might not be bad. I mean, it's not super amazing. It's probably not very reliable. It also reliable. lets Gligar evolve into Gliscor. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think I remember reading about that on Bulbapedia. Well, I don't think it's enough to get me to take my Gligar out of storage. So I'm guessing I want someone uh, high speed to have this. Yeah, so probably Gabite. I think you'll find his name is Netball. My bad. Also, don't forget to give the big root to Roselia. Right, I forgot about that. Um, that'll power up its uh, drain and leech seed and stuff. Yeah. wonder how much it powers it up by. Or does it just make it so it's the same damage, but I get a larger portion of the health? The latter. Okay. Yeah, you're not going to do jack all. Yeah, Oregon fuck here. that. Uh, netball. Netball, He's yeah. You know, that move would be really good on a different Pokemon. True. Maybe I should use Slash. Maybe Slash will do really well. What do you think? I think you should use Cut with Roselia. I think I should go back to using Roselia and use Cut. Yay! I'm guessing I'll level. Oh, 
For a second, I thought it was going to stop just short. Uh, that's the flying thing? <laughs> I'd keep battling. The Okay, the levitating thing? No. Look, a flying levitating thing. Whoa, it's the flying levitating plant. It's got a makeover at the contest, you know? Yeah, you're thinking of, uh, you're thinking of Carnivine. I will say, as dumb as this thing looks, it looks significantly less dumb than the shield face one. I do wonder which of the two uh, fossils you can get in this game, because uh, in Platinum, if you go into the underground, you can get either one of those fossils, but it's dependent on your trainer ID. Interesting. I think if the last number of the trainer ID is even, you get Cranidos, and if it's odd, you get uh, shield on. Uh, that's something I can just check here, isn't it? It's my trainer ID. It ends with a six, so, uh, you'd get Cranny Dose. Am I blind? Oh, there it is. Yeah, I was blind. Which one's that? Is that the one I just fought? Yes. Did I just go in a circle? Yeah. Was I supposed to go in a circle? No, but you fought trainers, so it was worth it. Where, where do I go for progress? Uh, just south collector below you. Whoa. Okay, this way. Got it. Yeah. What an odd spot for a patch of grass. That's my other name. That's a good username. Somebody start a channel with that name. Really? Nothing? And then link it to heroes in our spare time. Yeah. So you can find Giraffrig in this grass. Ooh, Giraffrig's cool. The fuck is this place? <laughs> One step. Do -do 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 -do. Fucking poop emoji bird. God damn it. It's not intimidating. I'm not afraid of poop emoji bird. Oh god. Thanks. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that was actually really nice. I don't hate you anymore. Ultra Ball, nice. Okusan man. Wait. God damn it. Why are there two cameramen just bl barricading that place? All right, I like Giraffering. Giraffering is pretty cool. And All it's right, a normal well. psychic type, so you have some sort of resistance to other psychics. Uh, I'm gonna just rock smash and just see what it does. I actually earthquake this. Really? Okay. You think it's yeah, gonna live? It's probably gonna survive. Yeah, okay. probably. It's a single stager, so it's gotta have at least some sort of uh, capability to hold the stone. Also, not to mention, uh, Onyx isn't too strong, so. Wow, that yeah. is much less than I thought it would be. All right, oh, good thing it's an idiot. I have a bad feeling that Onyx is gonna get outclassed very quickly at this point. I'm a little worried about that as well. Also, uh, the call fucked up very slightly for a quarter second. So on my end it was, I have a bad feeling. <laughs> get it? Because it's kind of like a sheep? Yep, my pride is actually a sheep in Rock's clothing. <laughs> in the Rock's clothing. It's his sunglasses. Da, 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 da. That's the Rock's theme, right? Yep, yep, that's, that's the one. All right, uh, I'm going to catch it. Giraffe is cool. I think I could just use, use a great a ball. Use a great ball. No. Use a neat ball. God damn it. I could always paralyze it. I feel like that's unnecessary, but I'm gonna go do it. Cause fuck it, I don't wanna waste great balls. It costs money. I'm probably about to run to a Poke Center anyway. Not necessarily a Poke Center, but a, uh, a, rest, a rest stop. Right, right, I also need to equip that, uh, that big room. item. Yeah, the big room. Oh shit. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. 
See, I'm fine. What are you so worried fine. about? You're still, you're still able to use other Pokemon. It's fine. Yeah. Use right. an Ultra Ball. Doesn't that feel like overkill, though? Uh, I don't know. You could probably buy Ultra Balls soon, anyway. I could always use a Net Ball. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Fun jokes. Mm. I don't like this fight. I really hope this is just a thumbnail. It's Brandon's fault if this doesn't work. That's also his fault if it does work. Fucking Just Brandon, as as god damn it. Fine. I was gonna be Matches pissed. Matches colors. I was gonna be pissed if that didn't work. Holy shit. Do, 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 do. I love the caught Pokemon music. Wow. Mm -hmm. Four foot eleven. It's actually pretty tall. Um, the head on its tail contains a small brain. It can instinctively fight even while facing backwards. Its ass can fight back. Much like that dumbass skunk. Hi, two cameramen. The Pokemon of the lake won't come out if it senses people. We're lying in ambush for it, facing not the lake. Legendary Pokemon of this lake. I aim to capture it on film like I've done before. Uh, it was me who filmed the Red Gyarados at the Lake of Rage before it was stolen by a trainer. They're looking for Nessie, apparently. Ah. Uh, what so am I to do? I've gone and spirit. dropped my sweet key somewhere again. Is it just over those hedges right there? No. The hotel won't, uh, people won't be happy with me. I'm sure I had it earlier when I left the reception counter earlier. And if I only had a Pokemon app dancing machine, it'd be so easy to find. Wait a minute. You has one. I think I have that application it's not near right here you keep uh, going a little bit go down check around here nope. there it is that was easy so, so before you move on go uh, into the building below you what number was my things again five, five. okay this building yep and then talk to the receptionist not only you wish to save the night, but you have no reservations. We're, right, we're totally booked. You can rest here for a while, just sleep on the counter. Alright, sweet. Get it? Uh. With an E? Uh. Not like the usual word sweet, which has no E's in it. Uh. What am I to do? Oh, that's my sweet key. You stole it from me! I'm calling the police! Oh, that's sweet! Of uh, you. All right, I'm coming in too. I'm being invited in. This is weird. Thanks for helping me out. Here's something for your trouble. White flute. I what think this reduces wild encounter rates. I think it does. I vaguely remember the flutes from the previous gen. I thought the whole <laughs> flutes thing was pretty cool. Uh, wild Pokemon oh, no, more likely to appear. Okay. So if you're trying to find like specific Pokemon and you're just not having good encounter rates for that particular area, then white flute it up, and there you go. Okay. So this cafe right there is actually a double battle uh, place. Ooh. And you can go in there every day, and the trainers change up every day, and you can just have double battles. Oh, that's actually one really cool. Because one of my complaints about third gen was uh, I thought there weren't enough double battles, and it was kind of lame that you couldn't like repeatedly do them. That's really cool. Yeah, all right. they're, they're all around the same level regardless, but, you know, it's it's neat for this point in the game. Hi, I'm the game director. Oh, you're working on filling a Pokedex? I hope you come to show me your Pokedex when you filled it up more. wonder if he gets me. I mean, I assume he gives me something. I, I think it's just a certificate in this game. I'd rather be in a pool than the sea. The salty tang of the sea tastes like my tears after a hard day at work. Wow, you got... Shala! Hey, Shala! That's really dark, lady. 
She's not a dark lady. Shit, you're right. I guess I'm a racist. It's just that easy, folks, to be a racist. Um, you can't do this... anything with that yet. Okay. Very rocky. Rocky, like the 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 punch fighter. The punch fighter. <laughs> yeah. He fights fruit punch for a living. You know, Big Mac. Let's go to the other place first. Giga Mac. Is that right? You're a traveler. Yes, it's good to see other places. Have you heard of the Tin Tower of the Johto region? I have. The rainbow colored Pokemon. I must see that during my lifetime. So, was it first and third gen take place at the same time? I don't remember. I don't think that's established. Because I know second gen takes place after first gen, right? The only generation gap that we're aware of is first gen precedes second gen, definitely, because okay. it takes place in the future in Johto. Everything yeah. else is supposedly happening at around the same time. This hotel is so romantic. I hope a night on a Pokemon will sweep me away for a honeymoon. Turns out it's just a guy in his street clothes riding a giraffe rig. Yeah. You know those sh t shirts where, like, it's, it's a black t shirt with, like, tuxedo designs printed on it? It's that, mm -hmm. but with armor. White armor. <laughs> I can battle too. Yeah, she's got a real raspy smoker voice. Why are there just a couple of unattended kids on this tiny ass beach? Their parents left them behind. All right, just well, like this Meryl. They're unwanted children. Time to kill them. That's, I love how unenthused Meryl looks because I've been playing a three with Fatima and Meryl looks so happy in it. And this one's just like this weird grump face thing. Grep face, actually. Actually, yeah, it is the grep face, isn't it? Okay, so double edge. It's the same thing as takedown, right? Just like 120 power instead of uh, 90. Wow, I didn't think it was that strong. I think it's 120. It's pretty strong. That might actually be useful. Not on Meryl, mind you. Oh, God, no, not on Meryl. No, Meryl is normal in, in water? Just water. Just water, okay. Azuril is normal. Uh, ra rather. In it's weird games, that it becomes normal. No, no, no. It becomes water from being normal. Oh, I was thinking that Azuril was the evolution. Azuril is the pre-evolution. Azumarill is, uh, is the evolution. Gotcha. And I'm guessing this town will have more use once I can surf. Yeah. Uh, isn't this nice? I love my inflatable tube. My parents are gone. I drowned them. They drowned because they didn't have a tube. I forgot to mention that um, Azuril, Meryl, Azumarill, in 6th uh, Gen, they became Fairy-type as well. Weird. Oh, yeah, I so forgot Fairy-type. So, Azuril, yeah. yeah, Azuril is pure Fairy, and then Meryl is Water Fairy, Azumarill, Water Fairy. I forget, 7th Gen is the newest one that's out, right? Yes, and okay. it's assumed that Gen 8 Pokemon is going to be coming next year. Okay. How many years are there between the average Pokemon, like, main generation of Pokemon? I forget. Hmm. Is it usually given well, three years? originally it was... Originally it was around... Three years? Like, yeah. Like, between first and second gen was three years. Second gen to third gen, I believe, was another four years. Uh, then another three. Uh, that, that's these games. And then Generation 5 came in around 2009, 2010-ish, so another three. And then Gen 6 was 2013, so another three. Gen 7 was 2016, so yeah, every three years. Oh, guess what I did? Uh, I forgot uh, to equip that item again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. We're gonna have some angry comments. Just name this. Uh, just name this episode Big Root. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna name it Use a Big Root. Use um, Man's Root. But wait, didn't I say I was gonna name this episode after that hidden item? Anyway. I don't know what I'll name it. Maybe I'll name it both. Razor Fang Big Root. 
All right. Tuber Jared. Fuck you, kid. Pro-tuber Jared. <laughs> He's a pro-tuber, isn't he? As in YouTuber. Whoa! Whoa! Portal 2 reference. Whoa! <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, uh, I guess we're done with this town then. Uh, I'll heal. Uh, yeah, unless you want to do some double battles in that cafe. Fuck that shit! Nut, 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 nut. You know, like, uh, I like mean, popcorn. I was doing Darude Sandstorm, but okay. <laughs> Wait, what? Nit, 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 oh, I know, that's nit, popcorn, nit, 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 shit. Nit, nit, nit. That's popcorn. Yeah, no, popcorn and Sandstorm always get mixed up. It's all boobity good. Oh, God. All right. On the next episode, we see what next thrilling sentence this fat guy says to us. Until next time, have a nice day. Stip, stip, you do. Do, do, do.